I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars Capricorn. Now in your solar fourth house, all to do with home and family, Uranus this week in this position is going to come out of its retrograde uh, phase. So it will be stationary on the 13th and will go direct on the 14th. So uh, if things at home should start to settle down a little bit when, when this happens you and hopefully get more clarity, less confusion. Um, things can happen out of the blue as well that you're not expecting so watch out for that now as always when when a planet is stationary uh, to either go direct or retrograde it can be the most disruptive time so it's on that turn when the energy is sort of let's say most unsettled so you want to just you know, just sit it through this week, it can. That's happening on the 14th, so, you know, by next week, hopefully it'll be a little more settled. So try not to make any rash decisions this week and just sort of sit it out and watch, listen, and, and learn more. Now, you do have Mars in your sign as well, um, and there have been some pretty heavy-duty uh, transits to do with Mars and Uranus on the 23rd of last month and uh, Mars and Pluto just last week on the 27th of November so um, you you know may still be f feeling some of the fallout from from that as well so as I say you know this is a week really just to take it a little easy, just keep working through things, try not to make any major life-changing decisions and just see how you feel next week. Now there is a new moon this week as well and it's in your solar 12th house. So this is a very, to do one of the areas of the chart to do with your dreams, hopes, wishes um, along with the ninth house but I like to think of the 12th house is it really where you can start to get your thinking and your intentions together of what you want to do because in one month's time you will have the new moon in your sign okay and that signifies the start of your uh, the beginning of your whole new cycle solar cycle so this month here you know think about where you are where you want to be what changes you can make start to review your goals it's the end of the year anyway so perfect time to start to review you your goals and just get the vision together of where you want to go and put down some um, firm goals with action points and your intentions so of course it's the intention which is really the point here is what you intend to do and put that out there. Mercury, the communication planet, moves into your 12th house on the 11th and Venus, the planet of love and money, will move in there on the 16th. So plenty of energy in this. All this energy is moving towards you. So it's heading into your um, it's heading into your sign. So as I said, this is a perfect time to just get your thoughts and intentions together okay good planning time and of course you know you're a Capricorn so if you're like me you've got your back up against the wall of deadlines at the moment so um, uh, always a deadline in a Capricorn's life isn't there okay <laughs> um, all right have a great week I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching